Hey, it's Chris here, and I just wanted to give you a week two summary. So last week, Bowen worked on the back end. So he set up the web server with the database and the authentication piece. And I'm going to actually let him chime in on that experience and what it was like to build that in just a second. But I do want to say that um, I sat down with Ellen and we had discussed where this was going and what it would look like in three months when it was done. And it made us realize that maybe we have taken on a lot more than we bargained for um, because this idea is essentially almost its own separate business right you're helping content creators um, create their own app and get it in the app store and you're going to have to have people supporting them um, you know helping them walk through issues for submitting their app and wanting customizations and initially i thought about all the cool things that could come out of that like we could do you know consultation requests and all that but I still think there is a need for people who want to build apps who don't necessarily learn to code but it, I think for the scope of the case study that might be too big of a problem to tackle and I think that I basically bit off more than I can chew so um, while it's still early while it's still two weeks in and we still have you know two and a half months um, we're hitting the reset button and this time um, I want to create an app where the end user is someone in the app store finding the app and using it. And we're targeting, you know, consumers rather than um, business owners or uh, other content creators or influencers. So it's going to be a self-contained app where the product is the app in the app store itself. And I think this makes for a much stronger case study, especially um, for... <laughs> What we're trying to do here at code with chris which is to um, show people teach people how to code and to build apps and i think we can also control the scope so that uh, it is you know maybe a single focus app that does one thing well something we can uh, build in two and a half months get it launched do some marketing for it and um, i think this is the direction that most people who are picking up coding and wanting to learn how to build apps this is the direction that they're going rather than trying to build you know a business that helps other content creators build their own apps you know so that's i wanted the case study to to reflect something that would be useful for people so in short we're going to hit the reset button next week you're going to see me give updates on um, this new direction we're going, what new app idea we've decided on, and we're going to go through that validation phase all over again. But we're just going to choose a smaller scope so that we can still finish in three months. All right, thanks for following along. I'm going to pass it to Bowen now to talk a little bit about his experience. Hi, I'll be going over the simple web server and database that I built for our original app idea. The purpose of this was so that users could create an account and create a config for themselves. Over here, the server just displays all the database items, and over here we just see that we have two users, one with test name and one with the new username. Through our front end, we could create a new user such as demo with any password. And then in our server, we see that it updates the database appropriately. We could update the information for the config like so, save it, and in this case, communicate it to the server which then updates the database as well. And then we see over here in this entry, the name, channel, and other information are all updated in the database item. In the front end, if we refresh the page and we log in again, we see that the front end communicates with the server and pulls the data from the database. Overall, this was extremely valuable learning experience for me in terms of figuring out how to set up a database, how to set up the server, as well as communicating between the front end and the back end and integrating everything together. And although there's still areas of improvement, such as adding authentication using tokens and verifying password encryptions, I believe that this was still an extremely valuable learning experience and it will help me create better apps in the future. Thank you. I just want to say, although we're not using that server and backend piece right now it was really interesting to see that come together and also Bo and I learned a lot from um, you know having to think through how that would work and um, we learned a lot in the process and so that's something that I want to share with you guys in the future as well so it's not you know wasted work 
um, we're going to turn it into a meaningful tutorial and demo that we can present and uh, hopefully you guys can learn from that as well. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.